Okay, to remove the uh, the crank from the resetting crank from the uh, result register, uh, first of all, if we take the uh, carriage out of the machine and uh, take the covers off, and there's uh, three screws uh, here, here, and here. Take those out. It's um, the uh, plate here acts against a quite a strong spring so as the uh, pressure is released the plate will come towards you Two and three. Uh, where did that one go? There we go. Right, so uh, that plate is now loose. Uh, now to withdraw the uh, the crank, uh, you turn it to about the between the nine and ten o'clock position and at, at which point the uh, the teeth on the crank line up with the slots in the uh, in the number wheels and just gently jiggle and withdraw that and with a bit of luck the uh, wheels all remain in place so try to leave those alone Right, this is the uh, uh, the um, the resetting crank, and what it's got, it's got these uh, um, teeth running along it. Now there's a um, there should be a, um, a pin here, which when the crank is rotated, the pin rides up on a cam surface and displaces the teeth a little bit to the right and that um, means that the teeth here then engage uh, with the um, with the wheels uh, I'll just uh, show this uh, cam surface it's basically uh, this ramp here and then there's a sort of a straight surface, and then there's a step when the uh, when the uh, when the rotation is complete. So the the pin uh, it rides along here on, uh, against spring pressure, and then um, you go you know, it resets the wheels, and then it drops back into place. Now the uh, the pin, if it's missing, what you're likely to have is the rem is the remnants of the old pin will still be in the hole. And if you hold this um, um, assembly in a vise and then drive a pointed tool into the hole, you can drive. The remainder of the pin out of the hole and then reinsert it uh, so it it's not it, it's uh, because it's snapped off probably it's not as long as it would be but there's still enough left if you if you uh, if you sort of withdraw it from the from the bottom after driving it through and then reinsert it in the hole uh, there ought to be uh, it ought to be enough to uh, do a sort of quick and dirty repair. Now, putting the if if all the wheels have stayed uh, more or less in position, uh, you can insert the shaft back in the holes, and they're lined up with the. Uh, 
with the teeth and jiggle it about a bit. Uh, there's a uh, there's a little uh, bush here which you possibly have to jiggle into the right position and uh, line and there we go it's uh let's back in if the uh if the wheels do fall out well i'll i'll uh i'll demonstrate what you do there so uh imagine you've uh oops uh you've uh <laughs> It's in, so we draw it again. Take all the pinwheels out. And the bush. And there's a, uh, <laughs> a, a little, uh, um bush here with a with a tag on it and uh, and there's a and there's a slot in at the bottom there so you put that in the hole there and then with the handle at the sort of nine or ten o'clock position uh, Put the uh, bushing, bushing over there. Line up with the uh, should line up with the uh, slot. Push that onto there, and then it's a case of uh, putting the pinwheels, uh, threading them onto the onto the shaft. So. Uh, This is extremely fiddly, but uh, the uh, you can f jiggle and feed the pinwheels, the the shaft through the wheels, putting them on one at a time. making sure you put them on the right way up. Right. The actual uh, the actual slot uh, you can see is there, and so relative to the uh, it's about when you put the wheel in, the slot is sort of 
bit backwards of vertical round about the five o'clock position so when you put the little bushing in then that has to go in uh, that way around jiggling the handle and making sure all the zeros are still lined up ought to here we go just about feed it in eventually managing to uh, get everything all lined up and the uh, and you can see that the uh, that the handle uh, the pin runs against the thing when you turn it and moves the, moves the shaft towards you the uh, register on the other end works slightly differently in that the the, the, uh, the um, cam surface is on the inside of here uh, so when you turn the crank it pushes the uh, the shaft uh, inwards whereas on this side it pushes the shaft outwards anyway I'll uh, put the uh, put the screws back in This is the carriage from a 239, uh, so it's a little bit different to your uh, 227 at the uh, at the counter end, uh, but the, uh, the the register end is exactly the same. So uh, there we go, and I hope you found that useful.